Warm greetings to you, the members and friends of this St. John the Baptist community of faith. We are about to embark on the second great cycle of the church year, which follows Advent Christmas and Epiphany, the cycle of Lent, Holy Week, and Easter. Lent is a season of 40 days, not including Sundays, which are always to be celebrations of Christ's resurrection. These 40 days remind us of the 40 years God's people journeyed through the wilderness from their slavery in Egypt to the freedom of the promised land. During Lent, we make a spiritual pilgrimage from Ash Wednesday with its focus on our bondage to sin and death to Good Friday and Easter Day when we celebrate the good news of God's grace flowing from the cross and beaming from the empty tomb. By this grace, we are saved. By this grace, we are free from sin's slavery. By this grace, death has no final dominion over us. This year, Lent begins on March 2nd, Ash Wednesday. It is a somber day as we solemnly remember that left to ourselves, we end up as dust and ashes. Ash Wednesday is so named because a cross is marked on our foreheads in ashes. But all is not lost. All is not dust and ashes. God comes to our rescue God comes to redeem us. When we were baptized, the life-giving cross of Christ was first marked on our foreheads, and with it, the certain promise that we belong to God, who has delivered us from sin and death to redemption and life, life without end. This year, two Ash Wednesday Masses will be celebrated, one at noon and one at 7 p.m. on Wednesday, March 2nd. Both services in person as well as live streamed. Then, during the five weeks of Lent before Holy Week, Lenten morning prayer services will be conducted each Wednesday morning, beginning on March 9th at 10 a.m., both in person and live streamed. The theme I have chosen for this Lent's midweek services is in view of God's mercy. Lent for us is a season of spiritual introspection, taking a serious look within ourselves and at our lives to ask, how can I better reflect God's goodness and love? What do I need to change? What do I need to get rid of in order to better live God's will and follow in God's way? Our self-examination, though, is always in the context of God's amazing and everlasting love and, yes, mercy. The specific themes of these five services and the readings and my homilies are God's mercy in temptation, in suffering, 
in betrayal, in relationships, and in service. Also, the Sunday before Ash Wednesday, Lenten devotional books entitled Grace Unbounded, with scripture readings, meditations, and prayers will be given to you. Or you can call or email the church, and we will be happy to mail you a copy of Unbounded Grace. The central call of Lent is to repentance. Repentance, though, goes far deeper than being sorry for our sins and confessing them. Repentance means turning our life around, away from whatever we say or do that grieves the heart of God and toward that which pleases the Lord. So repentance is reorienting our lives from being self-centered to being God-centered. One positive act of repentance you might consider during the days of Lent is to look for at least one way each day to do a random act of kindness for someone, an undeserved act of grace toward them, even a stranger, as a way to remember and to give thanks for God's undeserved act of grace to us in the cross and the resurrection tomb of God's Son, Jesus. The word Lent comes from an old English word that means lengthening. Lent always comes as spring approaches, as the days lengthen, the light increasing. We are thus reminded that through repentance and through God's unceasing mercy, we move from darkness to light, and from sin and death to new and unending life in Christ. As we turn from sin, the beauty of God's goodness and God's grace blossoms in us and our lives. I pray your Lenten pilgrimage will expand and strengthen your faith and brighten your life with the blessings of God. Amen.